Celiac disease also called as celiac sprue or gluten-sensitive enteropathy. It is an autoimmune disease that mainly affects the small intestine. It occurs in people who are genetically predisposed. Celiac disease may occur at any age. It is more common in women than in men. It is very important to note that, in celiac disease there may be mild or even absent gastrointestinal symptoms. Clinical diagnosis is made in only 10% of cases, it means that most cases of celiac disease are undiagnosed or asymptomatic. Many adults with mild disease may only present with fatigue or anemia. Celiac disease may be associated with other autoimmune diseases like diabetes mellitus type 1, hypothyroidism, primary biliary cholangitis, psoriasis, vitiligo, autoimmune hepatitis, dermatitis herpetiformis and more. Actually celiac disease is caused by a reaction to gluten, which is found in wheat and in other grains such as barley, rye, and oats. On exposure to gluten, an abnormal immune response leads to the production of several autoantibodies that can affect different organs. In the small intestine, this leads to inflammatory reaction and cause bilis atrophy. Ultimately this affects the absorption of nutrients and frequently causes anemia. Presentation of celiac disease is with chronic diarrhea, abdominal distension, malabsorption, loss of appetite, and in children, failure to grow, while other features are dermatitis herpetiformis. The typical symptoms of celiac disease is pale, loose, or greasy stools which are in large volume, and have abnormally bad smell. Abdominal pain is cramping tight, also patient complain of bloating with abdominal distension due to production of bowel gas in this disease. And as the disease progresses a degree of lactose intolerance may develop in patient. Disease leads failure to absorb nutrients, minerals, and the fat-soluble vitamins A, D, E, and K. There may be copper, zinc, calcium and vitamin D deficiencies in celiac disease. Malabsorption of carbohydrates and fats causes weight loss and in case of children retarded growth In patient, anemia may be due to iron malabsorption. Moreover folic acid and vitamin B12 malabsorption leads to megaloblastic anemia. Very important point is that, delayed growth and delay in puberty occurs in celiac disease. So that's why evaluation of growth failure often includes celiac screening. This above point is commonly discussed in multiple choice questions. Next point. Small and underactive spleen occurs in about a third of cases with celiac disease and patient may be susceptible to infection after this. Also there is abnormal coagulation due to vitamin K deficiency and patients are at risk of bleeding. Diagnosis of celiac disease is confirmed by antibody testing and intestinal biopsies. 
and further helped by genetic testing. Remember making the diagnosis of celiac disease is not always easy. Serological blood tests are initial investigations required to make a diagnosis of celiac disease. People who present with minor damage of the small intestine may have seronegative findings. So many patients with celiac disease often are missed. In patients with villus atrophy, anti-endomysial antibodies of immunoglobulin type A can detect celiac disease, with a sensitivity and specificity of 90% and 99%, respectively. Moreover serology for anti-transglutaminase antibodies have a higher sensitivity 99% and specificity greater than 90%. So both anti-transglutaminase and anti-endomysial antibodies have high sensitivity to diagnose people with classic symptoms. It is important to note that a positive blood test is still followed by an endoscopy and biopsy. Also a negative serology test may still be followed by endoscopy and duodenal biopsy if clinical suspicion remains very high. Moreover antibody testing may be combined with HLA testing if the diagnosis is unclear. An upper endoscopy with biopsy of the duodenum or jejunum is performed to obtain multiple samples from the duodenum. While talking about treatment, no medication exists that can prevent from damage due to gluten. The only effective treatment of celiac disease is a strict lifelong gluten-free diet. This leads to recovery of the intestinal mucosa, improves symptoms in patients. But if this disease ignored, it result in cancers such as intestinal lymphoma. Strict adherence to the diet helps the intestines in healing. Zero point three percent to ten percent of people have refractory disease, which means that they have persistent villus atrophy on a gluten-free diet despite the lack of gluten exposure for more than twelve months. If alternative causes of villus atrophy have been eliminated, steroids or immunosuppressants such as azathioprine should be considered in this case. Like and subscribe our channel for next coming videos.